Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Over the last couple of days, there have been numerous user reports that Google Chrome is crashing on Windows 10. Now, this was initially thought to be a bug um, caused by the feature update Windows 10 21H1, which rolled out earlier this week, but it is not. And apparently, the problem was that after loading you know, an extension or when an extension was loading, Google Chrome would immediately crash when you were using it on Windows 10. And another scenario was that you know the, the Chrome uh, browser could launch, but your extensions, your settings pages, and some of your tabs were crashing as well. And then another scenario was the browser refused to launch altogether, or you had untitled window um, and tabs at the top of your browser. Now, I fortunately have not experienced this issue, but there are numerous user reports out there that um, users have experienced this uh, Chrome crashing on Windows 10 in the last couple of days. Now, the good news is, is that uh, Google has rolled out a fix yesterday on the 21st of May, and it's actually very simple. You don't have to install anything or really change anything. All they say is what you need to do if you have Chrome open is close any open Chrome windows. And then what you do is reopen Chrome. And then at this stage, you just keep the browser open for about five minutes without doing anything. Just leave it and let it stay open for five minutes. And then after five minutes, Google says you need to close the browser and then relaunch Chrome. And apparently this will resolve the issue of Google Chrome crashing on Windows 10. So in a nutshell, close all Chrome windows, reopen Chrome, keep it open for five minutes. And after five minutes, close Chrome and then relaunch it. And Google says the issues should be resolved. Now, for some reason, if this doesn't work, there are some other workarounds that you can try that have been doing the rounds in the media. And the first one is, you know, you can just head over to the Google Chrome website itself and just download um, Google Chrome and reinstall it again from the website. And then another one is if for some reason this isn't working, you can also go and then install the beta version of Google Chrome. But this isn't really um, recommended because it isn't a stable version of Google Chrome. But you can try this if, you know, the first option doesn't work. And then the last uh, so-called workaround is you can clear the Chrome user data directory. Now, this isn't really recommended because um, you could lose some of your saved passwords, your bookmarks, and some of your data in Google Chrome. But if you are desperate and none of these uh, fixes or workarounds have worked for you, what you can do is you can head over to your File Explorer, your C drive, and then if you haven't got your hidden items uh, you know, displayed, just tick Hidden Items to show your hidden items. And then you'd go to Users, your user profile, then you go to app data, which is a hidden folder. You go to the local folder, and then you go to Google, Chrome, user data, and this is the file here that you want to delete is the local state. And what this um, basically does is, you know, this just keeps some of your a record of your data in Google Chrome. But as I say, you know, what I would suggest is just copy and paste this to another location on your PC before you delete this local state file. And it's not recommended, but if you are desperate, you can try this and that should also resolve the problem. But as I say, these are just so-called temporary workarounds. They have been doing the round, the rounds in the media and the fix now is, you know, you close Chrome, you open it again, keep it open for five minutes and then you close it and reopen it again and that should solve the problem. I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.